Welcome back to the LEGO Harry Potter Years 1 through 4 100% walkthrough on the PlayStation 3. I believe this is part 56, and this part of doing level 5 of Year 4, the Black Lake. And the Black Lake is also the second task in the Tribus Tournament. So we're going to go straight into the level. Now, this is kind of a hard level for me to do um, free play mode in because you got these shells. Uh, you can see it on the bottom there, right on the Tom Riddle, there's a shell there, which I'm going to get um, very soon, I believe, very quickly. But uh, you will get a house crest from it, alright? And they're scattered around the whole level, and it's very hard to find them. So I, in this level, I always go back to look for stuff and see if I've gone past anything. So it's a little bit annoying level to do in free play mode because I am looking for these stuff. So let's see, let's see, let's see. There's the shell right under me, but I went past it. But I know that I get it because I come back and I look for it. There's a shell. You can see that's actually the first out of nine, so you have nine shells to get. I think you get like the Grave of the House Chris or something. I think that's what it is. And I also want to say that uh, the reason I sound a little bit strange, I still have a little bit of cold. I've got a cold like forever now. And I just woke up, which is really embarrassing. I sleep, I sleep a lot in the holidays and in the weekends. I I do. Like, I sleep a lot. Uh, but yeah, I just woke up. So, as you know, when you just wake up, it's a little bit hard to talk. So that's why, basically. Uh, now, you have these things as well. You swing on the view of these th things on the rock and these two guys will come along. Just hit them with spells and they will lift the rock. You have to do that with six of them and it will get something. Now they actually look like um, uh, like they're going uh, up, in the, up in the moon because they look like they got, like, I don't know what it's called in English, but like the suit you wear when you're going to the moon. It looks like that. It just really it reminds me of that. And it looks like it actually as well. It's really the same. Uh, from there we get Harry Lake Tusk, which is the first out of three character starts in this level, Black Lake. Uh, so to get free play mode in this level, I believe you have to get like 70 or 80 thousand studs. It's a little bit hard to get, but I would recommend like I I got everything, like I destroyed everything in this level that I could possibly destroy and I got uh, free play mode a little bit before the end of the level so you kind of have to destroy everything, not everything everything but very close to everything you have to destroy to get free uh, student, uh, student, no, it's true wizard, I always mix it up which is quite embarrassing as well. There's another shell, which is the fourth out of nine of the shells. So we're getting a little bit closer now. Up here there are studs. That looks like a fish. With gold studs and also one blue stud. Which is quite nice. There's quite a lot of studs in this level as well though. So you won't go around and uh, tell yourself that there's a very little studs around here. Because they are very very much there and nearly said there's very much studs here but there's a lot of studs here so yeah and actually this is the second to last level that we're going to do in free play mode so we're getting really close to finishing off free play mode we're going to finish off free play mode in the next part when we can do the third task or the make maze task and then We'll be finishing off free play mode, and here we've got the same um, um, octopus again, which we've also seen uh, in Chamber of Secrets. I love how this octopus is in this um, 
is in this game because it is mentioned in the books but it's not in the movies. We actually have to look for it in the book because it's quite well concealed. It is mentioned in the Philosopher's Stone, just to say that. But yeah, a lot of people ask me like, is this game based off the movie or the book? Like. It is based mostly off the movie, but a few a few things in this game uh, are for, uh, that are not. But down in the seaweed there, there is a purple star, by the way. And I keep pointing at the screen like you know where it is. Uh, but yeah, a few things in this game is from the books, which is not mentioned in the movies. Which I think is quite nice, because I like that. Because then you notice it. And then you notice that it's not in the movies, and it's like really cool and stuff. And I really like things like that. If you move that skeleton in the boat, you will get a student pair. And I can't talk. I got a hiccup. I hate having a hiccup, especially when I'm doing um, commentary or commentary or something. It just destroys everything when you got a hiccup. But. I'm asking myself, how did that student actually get down here in the first place? Like seriously. Students are, aren't supposed to get near um, the lake actually. Because of the octopusy. So I'm asking myself, how did he come here? Super strange. But I, I said that I, I was going to go back and look for stuff. Which I'm doing right now, but it's it's much easier to do it right right away when you get the thought that you might have forgotten something, and um, so you don't like come to the end of the level and then you think, oh maybe I forgot something at the end, so you're going back. So it's much better to do it when you first get the thought of it. If you shoot this skeleton thing, which is supposed to be a fish, I think. Uh, you will get quite a lot of stars from it, and you can actually hit it with a spell quite many times. It's on the ground right here, which we will hit a few more, like a lot of more times. A lot more times right now. You do get some stars from it, and I just wanted to keep like shooting it until. Uh, you couldn't get studs from it more because I wanted to see if you get something special from it because you never know you might learn something new from the game you never know and sorry about the sound I'm just plugging in like the cable for the computer so it um, gets more power I guess because it's a little bit low uh, but yeah there's not much else that I've forgotten right here it seems So we're going to keep on going forwards, I think. Right here. There's a shell in the background right there, which is, which is the eighth out of nine of the shells. Only one more to go and I know where that one is. So hopefully if you're having problems finding these shells or whatever you're having problems with uh, in this level, you will be able to find it when you watch this. Um, video. You can actually just go forwards here over the rocks and stuff. So you don't have to change sides really. You don't really have to do that. But I do it just because I want to see if I've forgotten some stuff. And here's a one, not another one of those rocks that will come with those two people that looks like they're on the moon. And the rock will move and Usually there's quite a lot of studs under the rocks and they're up there actually. More studs from there. I love studs, they're quite nice and we actually need studs because I only have like 30,000 studs. But there's the ninth and last shell, from that you get the Ravenclaw's quest so I was quite right actually because I said you might get the Ravenclaw's quest if you remember. Um, yeah, right here we're going to put together this fish. You probably remember from the story mode that we put together the fish because 
uh, this tower of rock is going to fall down and move this rock as well, like that. And what was that that went past? Did you see that? There was something that went past. I don't know what that was. Maybe it was like crumb, or maybe a mermaid, or maybe just one of those moon people. Might have been those them actually. Uh, but yeah, it's not much else to get here. But let's see if there is some more stuff. I think we can get that. Yeah, we can. Just a little bit more studs. We got 55,000 studs now, and we've soon got True Wizard. Going to continue on right now. Here's a dark object. And these, um, what are the names of them? Again, uh, for those, yeah, those creatures. I know what they are, but I've forgotten the name. Um, they annoy you every time they attack you. It's very annoying. Inside here, we'll get this skeleton. With a pirate hat, it seems. He's going to pull the chain, the rocks are going to fall down, and you will get the Slytherin house crest. So we've only got the Raving Torn Slytherin one, and there we got Student Imperial. So to get Student Imperial in this one, you apparently need 66,000 studs. From there, you get the second uh, character stud in this level. I believe it's the second one, might be the third one actually. But it's the guitarist. That's quite nice. Now we got him. It's good to have him though. You need all of them. Move this and Hermione can get through. And she's going to move this crab to move it over here so the rock will fall down on the crab. I feel really sorry for the crab. Oh, I feel sorry for it. I like, I generally feel sorry for it. It's really annoying. And here we got the octopus again. Octopus is always here. Let's shoot his eyes. And there's crumb as well. It's nice. We're going to rescue Hermione, but Hermione's here. Uh, because of the octopus is moving, uh, the rocks will fall down as well. Like that. And when you go over here, the octopus will come out and will uh, fog the whole place like that. And you have to use the Luma Salam. And if you go around the whole, uh, around these caves, and you get uh, the uh, get the stuff away, basically, you will get the um, the Gryffindor House crest if you go around and. Just like I'm doing right now, you will get the Gryffindor one. Like that. There it is. It's the Gryffindor. No, it's not the Gryffindor one. It's the Hufflepuff one. I'm sorry. Well, you get the Hufflepuff one. Uh, over here is the pearl. The black pearl. No, it's not. Uh, we're going to pick it up and we're going to put it inside this shell. And it's going to swim away. Or flap away like that. Looks really cute as well though. No, and it's still gone. Going to go up here and get a few studs. And now we're going to move on to the last area of the level. Here we are. This is the place where we're going to save this the people. You know how to do though. And I and I I've, I said this in the story mode of this level as well when I did the commentary. I, I absolutely, I said absolutely, I absolutely love, 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 I love the music in this level, like the Black Lake one. It's just like at a point. It sounds like really awesome and I love it. These mermaids, I don't like them. They attack you and when they get you, they keep holding on to you, which I don't like. Like that. I'm going to... And th these don't actually appear until you've done that, so it's not that easy to find them. Uh, move it over there. And yeah, that is 
the last one and you will get the half uh, Gryffindor house crest from it. Now lift the rock like that and you will get studs and we're getting attacked by the mermaid which is not good. Inside there we get the third and last character start of the level, Crumb Shark. So now we got all three of them and we got all four of the house crest as well. So we got 100 on this level, the Black Lake, when we've actually completed it, so, which isn't yet, but soon, and I got, and I want to sneeze, and I can't sneeze then, in a video, um, let's see, yeah, that's the end, so now we're going to see what we get, we get Harry Lake Task, Guitarist, and also Crumb Shark, as the three character studs of this level. We get all four of the house quests, Gryffindor, Slytherin, Ravenclaw, and Hufflepuff. And a gold brick for that. And we have 100% in true research. We get a gold brick for that. And what else? What else? 79,000 stars. We get, and we also got student apparel, and we get three gold bricks for the level. Hope you will watch the next part when we will do the last, the sixth and last level of year four, and also the end of free uh, uh, free play mode. See you then.